Aloha, thanks for tuning in to this tutorial on how to import your worlds into Minecraft Education Edition. So, first off, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So, I'm going to escape as well. I'm going to exit. In case you don't know how to start Minecraft, click the bookshelf icon. And you're going to have your files ready already. You need an MC World file. Dot MC World. And as soon as you get here, look at your version number. You'll see that I am in 1.14.3. And up here, I'm going to click. Play. And then import. And that will automatically pull up some folder. You need to know where your MC World file that you're trying to import is. Um, I'll do some other tutorials on all the different places that these can come from. You can get MC World files from Java Edition, from all different Bedrock Editions, and all of them can be converted into. Minecraft Education Edition uh, into the current version as long as it has not been loaded in a later, more recent version. So, because Minecraft Education Edition right now is 1.14.3, it has to be that version of Java or Bedrock 1.14.3 uh, or lower in order to import in. So, these I have designed in Java and exported converted and then exported into this format and now I'm importing. So I'm going to open my pocket plane file here, Ohm Jedi pocket plane, and look, level import finished successfully. And that is directly from the MCC tool chest file that I got. Let's see what's going to play next. I'm just going to pause the music. Oh no, let's go ahead and see what's been here. Hopefully it's good for a video. So now I'm going to view my world. No, it's terrible. Okay. Ohm Jedi, pocket plane. I just imported this. This is the first time trying to play it. I'm going to click play. And usually it'll take a little bit longer. Like right now my computer is kind of like, ah! But that's just the first time loading it. You'll run into a little bit of lagging just like that. And then look at that. Here it is. Here's the village, here's my little pocket plane, and I'm going to go ahead and let's uh, turn our sound up a little bit so we can see it's a real world. And then I'm also going to show you whatever the mode it imports, you can change it yourself here, as you may know, and I will just show you. This. So this is this pocket plane assignment that I do with my classes, and they all have to uh, send a 256 by 256 pixel image, um, or you have to, if you're one of my students watching this tutorial, um, so that you can create your own pocket plane. And this is my example. So this is my 256 by 256 image. And then what we do is we take this cool program, Minecraft Mural Generator at mcstacker.net, and we make sure we use the 1.14 uh, version because we're bringing it into Education Edition. And then we can do this. And all that is done, uh, this program is done using Minecraft Java, by the way. So I'll release some other tutorials on that process specifically, uh, but this wraps up the how to import portion, and now I'll sh show you quickly how to export. So once you've done whatever kind of work you needed to do um, in your world and you're ready to share it with your peers, with your friends, with your family, with your professors, with your teacher, whatever it is, your, your study group, um, so you know, you've some stuff here. You have your um, 
that's all done and you're ready to save it oh um be sure to like and subscribe that's down there uh once you've done all that then you're gonna click save and exit and save and exit now we're ready to export this world so i'm going to take my own jedi pocket plane i'm going to click that left click and I click settings and now I scroll all the way down over here and I click export world and then I'm gonna say Om Jedi pocket plane uh, 2020 with the date like that usually so the computer can organize it well alphabetically so to speak and then 10 14 and this is my second time backing it up today so I'm gonna say B there you go level export finished like, subscribe, let me know uh, what you thought. This is my first time really trying to do these tutorials like this. And let me know what else I can teach you about, what you have questions about, what I can help with. I'm here to support, so get at me. Peace.